The Streets of Rage series holds a special place in my heart. Many of my carefree, youthful hours were spent on a Mega Drive battling through those mean, enemy-filled streets. There was always something magnificent about grabbing a controller, throwing one to a friend, and bashing the living hell out of pixelated gangsters in unison. When I heard about Streets of Rage 4, I was excited, but also quite apprehensive. How can you modernise a classic but keep the traditional core of gameplay intact? I'm AJ 64 bit and I'm here to tell you about Streets of Rage 4. So what's the story behind Streets of Rage 4? Well, it's set 10 years later after Streets of Rage 3 and it returns to Wood Oak City for another fitting saga in the series. The classic heroes are back. Axel Stone, Blaze Fielding and Adam Hunter, but they've brought some newcomers on the way, which is Cherry Hunter, Adam Hunter's daughter, and Floyd Herrera, a cybernetically enhanced killing machine made by Dr. Zen. The story is classic beat em up stuff, with baddies and even people in positions of power standing between the heroes and their end goal. If nothing else, it is a fun vehicle for the gameplay and throws in some classical artwork between each stage to flesh out the narrative and tell you the story in detail. Art direction is stupendous, with flashy colourful characters who fluently move throughout detailed environments. The level of detail in this game would take a long time to explain. I mean, if you keep on playing this game, you can even unlock 12 unlockable characters from the original Streets of Rage series. These 12 unlockable characters are all in their original pixel art style. The soundtrack would hold up on its own, but the way it meshes with the gameplay is absolutely amazing. I must say, even the general punches and the kicks sound great too with that throwback arcadey sound and it ain't drowned out by the soundtrack in the background. Even doing something silly as punching a trash can to reveal an apple that restores health looks and sounds amazing. During each stage, one minute you're listening to bopping techno vibes giving an upbeat feel to a stage and then next thing you're versing a boss and the whole music quiets down and gets serious. And boy. Does it sound good? The game does have local co-op and online multiplayer modes, so you can always have fun with friends which is a bonus. Local co-op is up to 4 players, so you and your friends can all sit on the couch together on one console and play the game together. Or if you don't want to do that, there is online co-op as well, but that's only up to 2 players. It is amazing, and there is so much more content to sink your teeth into. While side-scrolling beat-em-up games might not be every player's preferred genre, there is so much here done well that it's worth a look and could lead to a genre being resurrected. In conclusion, Street Street 4 is a worthwhile return for a legendary franchise, but it's also more than that. It looks great, plays just as well as the originals, and also has a whole variety of options from assists, to performance mods, to online and local modes. I've got to say it is a complete package, and given the number of modes and options in the game, it welcomes any sort of player with open arms.
It is on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PC and the Switch for 23 British pounds or 31 US dollars, which I think is very good money for a little bit of nostalgia. If you like this video, please hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. I am AJ64bit and I'd like to thank you for watching. You take care and have a good one.